Hey guys, it's Brody from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just here to give you a quick virtual tour on our Toyota Land Cruiser Single Cab 79 Series. Just before I do that, a little bit about us. Obviously we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. We do have two used vehicle yards here. One here where I'm at at 77 Mulgrave Road and the other one down at 235 Mulgrave Road. Just across the road from our other yard, we also have Toyota brand new vehicles and Lexus of Cairns. But without going too much further into that, I'll jump straight into the video tour of this lovely Land Cruiser. All right, so basically I'll start underneath. I'm gonna point out any sort of nicks, scratches, marks, or anything in the paint or the interior. All right, I'll start underneath the bonnet here. All nice and clean through there. Coming up the top here, as you can see, there's a few marks and everything on this. Basically, it just gets a bit grimy when they get left wet and then they close the bonnet. So whoever detailed it's just closed the bonnet straight away and you can see there with my finger. That's just gonna come straight off. So that's no issue at all. All right, I'll put this bonnet down. Start through the bonnet here. It's about to start raining, so I'll try and uh, be as thorough but quick as I can. Through here, there's a couple of little tiny stone chips through the front of the bonnet here. Uh, most of it's just dirt and basically it's going to come straight off. It's just been sitting underneath our shade cloth, obviously, so uh, it's got a little bit of dirt on it. These little dots here, we'll basically try our best to buff them off, but a couple of dots in the bonnet there. Other than that, it all looks nice and clean. Coming straight through the front guard here. It's all nice and tidy as well. Heaps of tread left in these wheels. And the rims, obviously, pretty normal on these Land Cruisers to fade like that. Coming under here, a nice clean underbody on this Cruiser as well, which is really nice to see on this car. All right, I'll come through our nice Toyota Genuine Bull Bar. Got a pair of spotties sitting there as well. That's all nice and clean through there. It's a bit of discoloring here, but uh, Obviously nothing major through there. Coming through here, I can see a little bit of paint mix through there. We can have them uh, brush touched, same as here. Obviously they're not gonna come back brand new, but uh, obviously we'll try and get it as close to uh, as good as we can get. Coming through here, there's been a previous touch up done here. But other than that, that guard there looks all nice and clean too. Same thing on this side, just a bit of discolouring on that wheel, but chunky big tyres on these Land Cruisers and a nice clean underbody as well. All right, coming through here, I've had a massive discount on this car. We did start at 84,990 and then it's been massively reduced over time and we're at 77,990 now. So this Land Cruiser is really cheap for a GXL single cab. Coming through here, Straight through the roof, you can see there's no dents or anything up there. Come down the uh, back of the cab here. That's all nice and clean as well. Through this front door, little stone chip there and here. But like I said, we can organize to have them brush touched for you. A couple of little marks here, a couple of stone chips, but like I said, we can try our best and get them brush touched for you. Bit of dirt through there. We jump in this passenger side and give you a look through the front here. All right, carpet floors obviously in these GXLs, all nice and tidy. A little bit of fading on the seat here, but other than that, it looks all good. That's all nice and tidy too. All right, I'll come through the tray and then I'll come back through the underbody. A little bit of overspray from the uh, rust proofing here. Oh, I don't think it's the rust proofing actually. There's no rust proof on the chassis there. So just a bit of overspray from something from the previous owner. Coming straight through here. Through the tray. Obviously there was something bolted in the side here. Might have been an old toolbox or something. A couple of holes just in the in the steel uh, on the tray here. Obviously must have just had a few toolboxes sitting in the back. But if you're gonna mount toolboxes anyway, they're always there. And they're not going to be a major concern either way. 
Bit of damage in the tray here, as you can see. But obviously with these Toyota Genuine trays, that's not too much to be worried about. Coming through here, we've got our spare tire on the back there instead of underneath. Through this side of the tray. Seems to be all sweet. Through there. All right, I'll come back through the underbody. And as you can see, that's all nice and clean. Got a fuel tank under there as well. Good look under here. That's all nice and tidy throughout. All right, I'll jump back over to this side of the cab and give you a view of the rest of the uh, Land Cruiser. Coming through here. It's all nice and tidy. Through the front door. All nice and clean as well. Nothing that I can really point out. A couple of stone chips through here. A couple more just there. That seems to be the extent of it on this side here. Give you a look up the top as well. No dents or anything through there. Obviously a genuine snorkel as well. Alright, I'll just grab the key out of my pocket and we'll jump in and give it a start up. But as you can see, it's all nice and clean inside as well. All right, I'll jump in. We've got a red arc tongue brake controller there. Obviously got our diff lock controls here. And our dash, we have got, I'll close the door and start it up. Obviously you've got 144,858,000 kilometers. Quick look through here. It's all nice and tidy throughout. Obviously, we've got our stereo system in these cruisers. Cold air con throughout. Got a UHF holder here if you do decide to mount a UHF to the front. Got our air con controls, so temperature, fan speed. We see air con temperature as well. There. Traction control down the bottom there. Got our full drive switch there and our manual gearbox here as well, obviously. Uh, gear stick, sorry, not the gearbox. Cup holder there. Got our center console here. Give you a quick look through the service history as well while I'm in here. Quickly chuck it down for a second. All right, I'll give you a good look through here. So we've got our 10,000K service. 20,000. 30,000. 40,000, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100k service, 113, 120, looks like we missed the 130, we've done the 140, so that got done 144, so you got a nice 10,000 k's worth of driving without needing another service, so it's always handy to have. Jump out and uh, give you a good look around. Obviously, we've got all our keys here. Two remotes being a GXL, so central locking. We've got our, obviously, our keys for ignition there as well. All right. Well, that'll conclude my high-definition virtual tour on this Land Cruiser. Obviously, if I have missed anything that you'd like me to go back over, please let me know. Um, and if you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, please reach out and let me know as well. Thank you for watching and enjoy.